today's video is about to get hot and poppy. Grab yourself a fan because you do not want to miss a beat. Welcome back to my channel at home with Nancy. In today's video, we are going to be doing a Zara spring haul. Yay! I'm so excited because for the first time, I am doing my hauls right on time for the season. So, yeah. So, yay me. Anyways, um, it's been a while since I did a Zara haul and I felt like it's overdue. So, um, this video is very well curated for the spring 2023 uh, season so with that being said if you are new to at home with nancy at home with nancy is all about interior decor beauty fashion lifestyle and all things fancy and if that's something you are interested in please hit that subscribe button so y'all could join the most high gang <laughs> and do not forget to hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I do post new content. And for my new subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting this channel. And for my returning subscribers, I love you all. You know the deal. Anyways, let's get started. So, in this spring haul, you know, we are going for more of that clean girl aesthetic. You know what that is? Or you know what that means. So when I say clean girl aesthetic, for me, it means um, just nice, beautiful pieces that make you look like money. That make you look extra. Because the thing is, with my style, it's not what you wear. It's not what you wear, but it's how you wear it. How you put your things together, you know. And when I put my stuff together, I'm trying not to look cheap, you know. I'm not trying to look tacky. I'm trying to look nice i'm trying to look like you know i mean i'm doing very well because i am doing well but even if you are not where you want to be you want to look the part you know what i mean so you want to look like what you're trying to be like they like you know when people say dress for the job yeah so for this haul we are going to talk about um denim because denim and denim is heavily in style and we are going to talk about colors. We are going to do blacks. We are going to do nudes. We are going to do like pastel, you know. So we do have um, denim, nudes, uh, greens, reds, pink. Yeah. So stay tuned and let's just get started. So this is our haul. I did it just the same way I did the last haul where I went to the mall. But this time I went to a different Zara, not the same one I went to the last time. So yeah, and this is my first Zara haul for 2023. So I wanted to make sure it looks nice. And I just gave you all like things you would actually really like and want to wear, you know. So I have something for every girl. For the minimal girls, I have something for them. For the ones who are more like dramatic, I have something for y'all also. So 
let's just get started so while i was at the store i tried on the pieces and the ones i liked i bought just like i did last time and the ones i did not like i just left there in the store because with me it's very difficult for me to return pieces so when i do buy stuff and i take it home if it does not fit right i really don't like going to the store to return it i end up just keeping it sometimes i end up not even wearing it again so it's very bad so that's why i do it this way anyways i have the pictures of the clothes so all these clothes i would be linking in the description box like i always do and yeah so i'll just pop a picture of the actual outfit on the zara model up here and then i will put let's say the outfit on me up there because i mean with the zara models some of them are really really skinny i mean i am slim but sometimes you just want to see it on just someone who has like more body on them so yeah so the first piece i tried on was this uh mint green top so it was a striped top it was uh about 22 dollars it was actually affordable not too expensive because you know zara has kind of gotten really pricey compared to before i mean it was always pricey but i just feel like the price has gone a lot higher so this top right here was actually okay with price and it's a crop top and also i got this top in a medium it's very stretchy but just because i'm heavy set on my chest my boobs are actually big i do end up getting the medium in tops so and then for the bottom i wore uh asymmetrical skirt so i say skirt because it's a skirt and a short combined so i like this green skirt a lot because i just love the cut and i feel like it just does well for my body and if you are one of those girls who have really long legs, it will look really beautiful. Just for reference, I am 5'4 in height. So I'm not that tall. I'm about average height. Okay. So um, so I paired this um, skirt on the top with a beige or should I say a nude looking muse. Because I just felt as though as I just wanted the outfit to speak for itself. This um skirts i got in a small actually because i have actually purchased uh, a piece like this before in brown and when i got the medium it was too big so i knew to get a small i knew to size down because usually i do wear medium but i had to size down in these you know so yeah for the top it's stretchy but for the bottom you might have to size down and my waist is about like let's say a 28 in size just for reference so let's move on to the next one so the next piece is actually one of the pieces i purchased so this piece i actually i'm very excited about it's the denim uh what's it called it's the denim uh tube top so it's like a denim corset top and um the denim is like it's weird because each denim looks different because they had a bunch of denim cluster tops. Some of them looked brownish, like they had a little beigey color on the denim. And some of them had like blue, blue. <laughs> so I guess the wash was just weird. So some of them might look more brown and some of them might look more blue. It all depends on which one you get. I was trying to get one that looked more blue, but the one I bought actually looked more brown. Okay, you know what? I actually have the denim over there. Could you help me go get the Zara bag over there? Okay, so yeah, this is what I'm talking about. So I'll put the picture up there still with the model. So you see the denim top? I don't know if it translates to what I'm saying on here, but it's kind of like brownish. It is blue, but it has like a beigey color to it. So I decided to pair this with um, this secret pants. But the thing about the secret pants, I love how the waist goes. So the pants are right here and the waist is actually like a corset so it actually cinches your waist so when it goes up like to your like the middle of your belly it like i don't know there's like some kind of thing they put on it so it just makes your waist look smaller so i do love these pants for that so i paired them together this top is stretchy it's actually stretchy so it's really good but the pants is not really stretchy 
so the pants doesn't really have that much stretch or maybe just a tiny bit of stretch but not really so in the pants i got a medium in the pants and they fit just right and in the top this was also a medium so the top has a zipper on the side so even though I got a medium, it was hard for me to put it on. But you have to realize that this is a corset top, so it's supposed to be fitted. So I did not want to go for a large because, I mean, it would not look give the corset feel or look. So I went for a medium. So, um, yeah, so the zipper is on the side. So um, though I did wear this top with the secret pants, the beige pants, but I wish... Zara had like a, I wish Zara had like a, um, like a long beige pants, like those really long pants that are kind of like loose, but just fitted on the waist, you know, I wish they had something like that. I think it would have looked really, really, really nice, you know, I mean, it did look nice here on me in the photo, but I just wish it had one of those long pants that have pockets on the side. And then I'll just wear this on it and like hold a nude bag when I do go out. So I have one of those pants actually in the house. But when I was in at, when I was in the store, I just didn't find any. I just saw the cigarette pants, which looked really cute. But for some reason, or my body type, I feel like those really long loose pants that are um, smaller on the waist looks really good on my body, especially when I do wear a tight fitted top, you know, on my top. You know, so um, though I did wear it like this, but you know, I just wish they had long pants. So this was actually one of my favorite pieces, and yeah. And how much was this top? It was thirty nine ninety, and the pants I can't remember the price, but I'll put it up there so you can see it. So let's go to the next item. So let's see. So the next item on the list was this pink wide leg pants so these pink wide leg pants are actually like pastel pink it's just like a blush pink so so pretty i do like that it had like uh what's it called a vest to it so it has the matching vest and this vest was just beautiful in this vest though i got an extra small i know usually i do not wear extra smalls but the look i was going for i wanted the top to be really tight really really faded so that's why i got the extra small and i wanted the bottom to be loose so on the bottom i got uh the bottom i got a small not a medium and the small was perfect the small was perfection because the reason why i got a uh, small is because of my waist so my waist you know i did say is it 28 and when i do it like a corset underneath my clothes it'll probably be like a 26 or like a 27 so it goes really in so i bought a uh, small for the pants just because i wanted it not to fall off my waist because usually sometimes when i do get some pants even though it's my size the waist is usually kind of loose on me so i end up getting it altered by my seamstress so yeah so with this one it was great material. I love that the pants had pockets on the side. You know, I love pants with pockets on the side. But the only thing about these pants is be the fact that it does not go all the way to the floor. I would prefer it to go all the way to the floor with this look. Because I don't know if you see a lot of um, the vest looks going on. Like with suits, it's usually long pants with really fitted vest. Funny enough, I do have... It looked like that from Zara. It's a uh, nude pants with the matching fitted vest. And it looks so beautiful. This looks really good too, but it's just more of preference. I prefer my pants long to the floor. But other than that, as you can see, it was still giving. Your girl was still popping. Like the color, you know, even if you are the type that do not like colors, like you stick with blacks and nudes and whites, you know, you stick with neutrals. I feel like this pink does work well for those minimalistic girls, you know? So because the pink is not like loud, it's more like cool, more turned down. It's so pretty, it's so effortless and it's so girly. And of course I did the monochromatic look you know same color because i always feel like sometimes when you do it the same color it just looks more expensive it just makes you look more put together it makes you look more 
you know, rich, more luxurious. That's the word. Yeah. So the next on the list is, okay. The next on the list is these nude pants. So these pants are, is a mixture of beige and like nudes and I think creams. So for those of y'all who love your beige, your neutrals, you would love this. And another thing I do love about these pants, they are long to the floor. Like they are long, long, really long. And um, the size of these pants I got was in a small. So I got these pants in the small and I got the top of the pants, the matching top in the small. So with these pants, you have to size down because usually I wear a medium, but in these pants, I got a small. And I feel as well as the waist was still a tad bit loose on me, just a little bit, not too much, but a little bit. And the top, I got a small because I wanted the sides to be fitted on my body. If I had worn a medium, the sides would be loose. But the only thing is that with the small, because I have bigger boobs on top, it was really tight on my chest. So I had to literally take off my bra to wear this because it would not fit with my bra. So it was so like tight on the chest. But the thing is, if I was to go down to a, go up to a medium, it will fit on the chest, but the waist <laughs> will be very loose on me. So that's the problem. So if you are like, heavier set maybe you go up a size i would recommend then for your body if the body is kind of loose on your waist then you might take it to your seamstress to make it uh, to get it altered because that's what i usually do with some of my clothes i end up taking it to the seamstress to help me alter the the top or the bottom so yeah so other than that the material was very well made you know and the as you can see on the video the pockets of these pants are very cool because usually pockets are on the side but with these they are like right in front so i thought that was very nice and different you know compared to most pants so these have the pan uh, the pockets right in front and like what i love about this is that the pants are very long it's really long so if you wear your heels it will still like cover your shoes so if you're a tall girl i feel like this is tall girl friendly right so yeah so the next on the list is mm, okay so like we did say denim on denim is heavily in style so um i saw this beautiful denim pants i do have jeans but for some reason i feel like i'm starting to have the same type of jeans because sometimes i see jeans and i'm like oh i need to get this it's very different and then i go home i have something very similar so with these jeans i really do like it but i realize i have something very similar too from zara so i, I didn't buy it but uh i paired these jeans with this red top and it was just so beautiful like i feel as though as the red on my skin you know i am brown on the browner side I just feel as though as the red on my skin was just so 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 nice you know and it was so sexy it wasn't too much it didn't look crazy you know even though i feel like you might not like colors i feel like this color this red top was just beautiful it's very simple very nice it has is a crew neck top and i got this top in a medium it's stretchy it's a crop top but i got it in a medium just because of of course my my breast so i bought this and paired it with the uh what do you call it i wore this and paired it with the jeans and with the jeans i thought it was beautiful but then i started playing around with it and i decided to add on a blazer so i tried on a white blazer on top just to make it a little more a little bit more extra <laughs> so i put on the white blazer so with the blazer hmm the blazer I got in the extra large. So that blazer on me, as you can see, is an extra large. The blazer, what I do like about it, even though it's an extra large, it's very structured in the sense that the waist does go in. It does give you some kind of silhouette. And it does have shoulder pads, like really 
thick shoulder pads so if you are the type that love your shoulder pads you will love this like i have a girlfriend who loves shoulder pads like she buys extra shoulder pads in the house just so she can put in her outfits shout out to chica my style she's here on youtube but yeah so um if you are one of those who love shoulder pads you would definitely love this because it's very structured on the shoulder and then this blazer actually gives me that barmain vibe when i walked into the store and i saw it i was like oh my god this looks like the barmain blazers you know it had the good buttons double breasted good buttons on the sleeves and it's just a beautiful blazer so i wore this in an extra large and the extra large was actually not bad on me as you can see in the video even though it was an extra large it was not crazily huge it just worked it worked really well for the outfit and yeah so um with zara their sizing is kind of weird i feel as though as they are, it's very cut it's cut very small because i'm a us six those jeans I wore, the Zara jeans, were US 6, so those ones were perfect, and they were not tight, they were kind of loose, but the waist was really faded, which was good. And, you know, I mean, those jeans are not meant to be tight anyways. Then, the blazer is an extra large. Usually, the most I have worn in Zara blazers are large. I usually go for large blazers from Zara, but these ones were extra large, and they didn't even look badly big. They just looked okay, you know? so yeah so for this blazer i would say you should size up yeah definitely size up and keep in mind my top size is uh of course us6 or a medium and i was wearing an extra large in this white blazer another thing i wanted to try was this cropped long sleeve dress up shirt so i have always wanted one like this and there was one time I tried to make it myself. I was like, maybe I would just buy a regular button-up shirt, take it to my seamstress to cut it up and make me a cropped um, button-up top. But I ended up not doing it. So when I saw this in Zara, I was like, I have to get this. So this was another one I purchased my brother home with me because I was like, it's a white top and it's cropped top. It's different, you know? And what I love about it the most was the back. So... With me, I would be wearing a bra in mine because the back is open, which is cute. But I do need my bra for support. So I'm not going to go braless. No, I'm going to wear a bra. So I guess my bra might show in the back, you know. Or another thing you could do, some people do have those little bra, like those bra tapes where you could tape up your boobs. So that way your back could be like braless. So you could do either or. But for me, I am going to wear a bra just to be comfortable. Maybe a nude bra or a black bra, whichever. In that, in this video, I was wearing a black bra. So anyways, um, the top I got in a medium. And it fit perfectly. And I have a problem with my tops. When they are long sleeve, a lot of times they are short on my arms. Because for some reason, I do have long arms. I don't know how because I'm not that tall. But my arms are surprisingly long. But with this top, I did not have that problem because it stopped right on my wrist, which was perfect. So this top worked well with the same jeans, you know. So another thing I did was I ended up also adding a cropped denim with this top. So the denim was in this size medium also. And it was a little bit lighter wash than the jeans, but it still worked well. So I believe uh, it was just a slight lighter wash than the jeans. So I wore it together and I, like you can, as you can see, it's beautiful, you know. So cropped uh, white button up, cropped denim and the blue jeans. And I just wore this with like some open toe sandals because the jeans are quite long. So, but you can't really see the sandals as much, but this outfit is beautiful. And come to think of it, I do have a cropped denim in my closet already. So I did not buy this because I already have one just like this. But the one I have is a little darker than this one. So I'll probably still wear it like this with one of my other Zara jeans in my closet because I have so many Zara jeans. And this white top and the denim on top. So <sighs> the last last outfit is this very sexy black dress so with this dress there's a lot of cutouts there's a cutout here on the boobs 
there's also a cutout on the sides like the stomach like the waist actually and also like in your midsection right here so i got this dress in the small because this dress is very stretchy so with this dress you could actually size down i'm a medium but this is a small i'm wearing and it works perfectly so this dress i have something like this similar from last year but the one i have is long sleeve and the one i have covers the belly more with this one with it opening exposing my belly <laughs> i feel like with this kind of dress i would not be able to eat all day i would not be able to eat so if i eat or drink water then my belly will look big in it so i'm just like you know what it'll just you know it'll be a dress that'll be very beautiful and very sexy but you might not be able to eat because if you do eat your belly will bulge out and you you know it might not look as nice but if your waist is snatched if your waist is snatched you will you would love this dress you would very much love this dress and say thank you nancy because this dress is fire straight fire so anyways that brings us to the end of this haul i hope you did enjoy it i hope you found something in this haul that you might like that you might want to purchase like i said the links are all in the description box so thank you all for watching thanks for tuning in and i'll be catching y'all in my next video love y'all don't forget to subscribe